Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download Pokemon MMO. So first things first, go to the link in the description and you should come to the Pokemon MMO uh, website. Next you want to click on Downloads. Now once you are on the Downloads page, it's pretty simple. They've got a step-by-step -step showing you how to download it. But the first things first is you have to register an account with them. So that's completely free and I will show you how to do that right now. So once you've clicked on register, you should come to this page here where it's going to ask you to enter a username, email and password. So I will do that right now. Then you just want to click this tick box. Then click register. Okay, so there we go, it's as simple as that. You have now created a account. Step two, you have to download the client from the website. So just click this button here to download the client. So once you have downloaded the client, just save it wherever is best for you. And step four is to just extract the file. So I will show you how to do that now. So go to wherever you have saved your file. I've saved mine to the desktop. I've just created a folder, just called it Pokemon MMO, just for the sake of it. And uh, you just want to double click on that. And this is the file, the client here. So once you have you know, found where your file is, you will need a extracting software. So WinRAR is the easiest to use. There is a 7-zip and there are a few others. They virtually the same thing. All they do is extract one uh, main file and it extracts all the sub files out of that folder. So uh, all you need to do is right click and click extract here. So there we go. All the files are now uh, extracted. This is or the client itself. Step four, this is where you have to download the ROMs for the client. Currently, the only ROM that is supported is Fire Red. So what you need to do is go to Google and just type in Fire Red ROM and you know f find a website where to download it from. I will supply a link to where you can download one from because the website here does not allow you to uh, you know download from their site because they they don't support uh, you know pirate copy ROMs. So you will have to do this part yourself by just googling uh, ROM. It's really nice and simple. But like I said, I will link a uh, the ROM in the description below. And step five, the only thing you need to do is, uh, if you are on a Windows, is run the .exe file. And if you are on uh, Linux, or um, if you're on Mac, I'm not quite sure. But if you're on Linux, you need to write the uh, open the Pokemon MMO .sh. Once you have downloaded your ROM, you will need to drag it over to the ROMs file on the client. So in this folder here, as you can see, we have a ROMs folder right here. Just double click on that. And all you want to do is drag it over. And it's as simple as that. So now when you open the client, it will work properly with that certain ROM. All that's left is to run the program itself. I would recommend to run it as administrator, but it's up to you. So that's pretty much it. All you need to do now is enter your username and password that you made at the start of this video and away you go. I would recommend to go down to settings here and go into video and set your resolution to your base resolution of your monitor. So mine is uh, right at the bottom here. You just want to click that and click save. So now there you go, we are running in full screen, uh, so now you can play the game uh, you know, to your base resolution. So just enter your username and password. So now you just need to scroll down to the bottom to agree to their terms. And click agree. So now you just pick which server you want to log into. So I'll click the live, the top one, normal. Click new character. And here you get to end, uh, create your own new character. So I will do that right now. So once you have done, just click create character. Double click on your character. 
So that's about it. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smack that like button. If you need any help or any suggestions, just post a comment down below telling me you know, what your problem is or if you need any help and I will see what I can do. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.